Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Nicole Orr, I'm Karen Conley, Hospital District, JPS uh, Health Network Board Meeting for May 12, 2016 uh, at 1.13. Uh, I'd like to ask the chaplain to come forward and give that invitation. Let us join together. Dear Lord, thank you for your great blessings. We have had the privilege to celebrate your health, health, health Care Week Nursing Week, all of the great people we get to work with. What an amazing diversity, but yet great alignment to be centered on one purpose, to make a difference in the lives of the patients and families that we've been called to serve, to bring health and wholeness and care and compassion. Let us continue in that endeavor. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Of how kind you were and how wonderful it was and 
we really appreciate that. The other thing is we have 74 members of our um, physician uh, active staff here who were mentioned in the Fort Worth Magazine um, Best Docs. Um, now that Mr. Petty is here, let's start again. Uh, <laughs> I understand Dr. Johnson has your problem. Uh, but it has been a wonderful week from Nurses Week to the overall healthcare work. And then yesterday, we um, had what we call our food truck frenzy, and everybody in the organization from our um, clinics and main campus all come out for a free meal, and we have food trucks set up. We also do a, a, a roving deal out of the clinics so that everybody in the network is included. It's not singular just to the downtown folks. Um, and that's just a wonderful time to come out and celebrate, and you see a lot of the heart of JPS. I had a great talk with the chairman after the uh, Matt Pierce ceremony and after the, the um, Golden Stethoscope Awards for our nurses, um, Pastor Emerson and I both commented, this really is what JPS it is. And Mr. Petty, you spoke at that before, and you kind of get that sense that we, we have board meetings and we appreciate them and we appreciate the information we give you. But when you see those type of ceremonies and you really get to the heart of JPS, you know why we come to work every day. And it was uh, hugely special. So those are all the uh, announcements that, that I have, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Our next item is item seven. Dr. Johnson walked in the desk on time. Uh, Welcome to Melrose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought maybe you were talking about a parking spot downtown. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
department. Uh, I, Dr. Dr. Casey is filling in um, with him when it's understood to be a temporary in her role. Uh, the Department of Family Medicine is doing a, a national search uh, for him chair. And one of the things that that will do in help coincide with the future of claim and how we want to do things to create um, the best searches that we can, the best leadership that we can, but that we begin a very positive process of breaking down silos within our physicians so that we are all on the same page moving forward. One of the things that got those scores from the 30th percentile to the, 90, to the 92nd percentile was you saw an organization in unison. You saw an organization all moving in the same direction. I think ultimately we will be there with our physicians and this is a step in the right direction and the claim will play a significant role. I'm going to have some talks, board members, with some of you, all of you all, um, but um, Mr. Bose has been, been helpful in giving some suggestions to me that I think will ultimately be um, quite beneficial. And so I'm going to um, spend a little time and we'll talk about the future in that one, too. Thank you. There is not, and Bill, correct me if I'm wrong, it, it will not be interim because there is not a provision in the med staff bylaws for an interim position. All of them can be considered that, but the wording is not interim. Um, as, uh, as Dr. Johnson said, I don't think Dr. Casey sees this as a long-term permanent position. I don't mean to speak for Dr. Casey. I would never do that. But I, I do think that this is very much for for now, and then what we do ultimately with the plan. But there is no there is no interim position. We would be in violation of the med staff bylaws if you as a board approved an interim position. I'm going to ask about one of that same question. Okay, I'd like to entertain a motion. Second. Move it. So whoever is second by Charles Powell. Yes. Have we started anything? Search, that's the future that you speak of for that search and a few other searches that we'll have as well. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion passed. just want to say, Mr. Chairman, Dr. Johnson was all about him. Mm -hmm. Instead, again, most of this board knows he's actually the, the, the chair of the interim part of planning. Because they're doing the national search for that presidency, and DT serves on that search committee also. So that national search is going on. Documents indicate that, that, that in the amendment that it be affected by one. Okay. Yep. So don't, don't put that. Right. 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 Right
It's a plus. It's a plus.